Um, you know, the, the rule that I had for this convention is that I wasn't going to print anything new for this. Like I wasn't going to do anything, you know, like I didn't want to spend too much money uh, preparing for this show. So everything that I, that I've bought so far, um, is something that I would have had anyway. Like I always try to have a small back stock of, of all the tall tales and all the Eagle Raven books. So I had to restock anyway. So that's what I'm waiting to come in. But there are certain things that I would, would consider spending money on if it wasn't that much, if it wasn't that expensive to do. And um, this kind of caught my attention. So, so Jose has a pile, many piles of comics all throughout the house. And there was one particular pile he had by the door. And um, I noticed this on top of the pile, I guess like the last time he went to Midtown or, or, or something, I don't, I don't know how he got this, but I saw this on, on, on the pile and I go, Oh, okay. What is this? You know? And it's like, and it looked like a little comic, you know, a little, like, like a mini comic or something. So what I was reading on the back here, so I guess it's like, so this is one of this uh what is it scout comics whatever uh a digital comic and collectible card so um so yeah so it says use the card to redeem a digital graphic novel edition of whatever this book is you know and i thought oh okay that's kind of interesting you know so so i opened it up to see like what exactly it was because you know i kind of have you know, like a prototype for a mini comic uh, to kind you know, to, to promo, you know, Eagle Raven, you know, like this would be something that I would like give away though. And it's like, or, or let me, or, you know, it's like, yeah, probably like just either give away or it's like, oh, here, you can have this for a dollar or something. I don't know, because it opens up into a mini poster. And it's just pretty much, you know, it just, it just like, it summarizes, oh, how does this close? <laughs> Okay. Oh uh, yeah. So it's like, it's pretty much an advertising, uh, for, um, Eagle Raven. And then there is a QR code, um, on the back where it sends, it, it takes you to the website. So, you know, so that's what this reminded me of. So I, you know, so it's like, you know, so I just opened it up. Um, and what it turns out, and I guess it has like, it looks like this. And then it has this card this uh you know this card and then it has like the qr code and i guess like an individual um an, an individual I, I guess serial number that you have to scratch off so that uh you you can download the book i guess um i don't know what this was retailing for i'm not sure uh, or whether Jose just got it for free, I'm not sure. Um, but I was like, kind of like, going, oh, this is kind of like a little interesting thing. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's like, okay, uh, you know, it's like, you know, what, what kind of like, what, what can I kind of do with this idea? Like if I, if I, could I, how could I like combine these two ideas? You know, like, would this be, would be, this be something that maybe I, I could have for Baltimore. So then there was, I was looking at somebody else because San Diego Comic-Con is this week as well. So people are posting up their pictures, you know, like their setups and stuff. And I, they've been doing that uh, for the conventions and, and things. So, um, so there was another person, I think it was Marvin Wynn with his books that he was selling um, USB uh, you know, like little USBs with uh, comic collections on them. And what's funny is that, I don't know, I found the USBs to be a bit archaic, oh, you know, like there's just something like kind of like, oh, that's so old fashioned, <laughs> so old fashioned um, uh, as, as if this isn't, you know, but, um, there, but there was something especially old fashioned about USBs. So what I was kind of thinking, you know, it's like, I, I don't know, it's like, you know, you know, it's like, if you saw something like this, okay, because I was thinking like this, okay, this would be kind of like, like, okay, like, you would get this, like, you would, you're at a convention, and you see kind of like a mini comic. But when you open it up, there's a QR 
code inside where you download, like, say, trade paperback, like volume one or something. Although, of course, I, I wouldn't have it like, you know, with with all these secret codes and, and things like this. I, I wouldn't have that because it's like, who has time for that, you know? Um, but it would just be kind of like a mini comic. And then you would have like probably the QR code on the, you know, on the inside. And it's like, and that would get you the download of like, say the trade paperback or something. And it's like, you know, I don't know, you pay like 10 bucks for it. It was a trade paperback. You're talking about 128 uh, pages or it's like, maybe like, I don't know, for like, two dollars or three dollars you get like one of the issues like this i mean it, it's like do you guys think that this would be something that like if you saw at a convention that would interest you like would you buy like a little thing like this like a little mini comic with a qr code to download the comic oh okay so oh and for those of you who don't know yes nita is in the background she's she's uh she's a uh, uh, she's keeping track of the VIP room. Uh, so yeah, so she is definitely saying that's actually uh, a good idea. So yes. And then she had to say it again. <laughs> An idea is so nice. She had to say yes twice. Um, so that's kind of like that. So that's in my brain right now. That's like, okay, how do I, all right, how am I going to do this? Because, you know, because also the, the cool thing about it is that um, something like this is not going to be that expensive for me to make. I mean, it's just, it's literally just a folded card. Um, I, I mean, so it's like, it, you know, it, I guess if I was really feeling ambitious, I could, I could literally print this myself, but you know, we want to make it, we, let, let's not be completely cheap <laughs> on this. Um, so you know, so yeah, so I'm just kind of, well, okay. So, so Nina says, yes. So probably it is something that I should, should think about. Um, that I think that, you know, especially like if people who it's like, well, it's like they want to buy the book, but they don't want the physical copy, you know, or it's like, but they want something kind of inexpensive and it's like, you know, and I think that this is probably a little nice souvenir, um, you know, plus you get to download a, you know, like a full issue or a full trade paperback, you know, um, uh, just from the QR code on the inside. So, uh, you know what, we're, we're definitely going to put a pin in that. You know what? I think that I, I have a little bit of time. It, this is the type of project that shouldn't take me more than a weekend to put together and then getting it printed shouldn't be a problem either. So, um, you know, that, that should be like really quick too. So, so yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to definitely, uh, let's see. It's like, that would be fast table money. I, I, yeah, you know, I, I think I, yeah, I got that feeling too. You know, it's just kind of like, you know what? Um, I think that's kind of like a really cute idea, uh, that I think that, uh, you know, cause you know, it's like, you know, you get those, you know, you, you know, you, you get the people who want to read shit on, and that's the thing. And it would download, they scan it with their phone and then they would download directly onto their phone and they could start reading the book then there, you know, um, you know, now, of course, it's like because they have the QR code and the whole scratching thing. And it's like, and they were, you know, it's like, so of course the thought pops up. It's like, oh, but what's to keep people from sharing the QR code? And honestly, I think I'm kind of at a point now where I don't care, you know, that I would rather that I would rather more people read my book than kind of like, I hate to use the word gatekeep, <laughs> I guess, than gatekeep access uh, to the book. Um you know, so honestly, it's like the, I, I don't I, honestly that doesn't really bother me. Honestly, because the, the whole thing is that I don't do conventions that often. So, you know, how long is it going to take for something like this to get around anyway? So it's like, look, people are probably spreading around the PDFs that I give to the kicks that I give through the Kickstarter anyway. And does it bother me? No, it doesn't. If they're reading the book and enjoying it, that's what I really want. Um, 
you know, and it's like, and the hope is that I will, you know, interest, my work will interest them enough, um, you know, to, yeah, it's like, you know, fuck that. That's how music got around. And if folks like it, they'll find you and buy more. I, you know what? That's how I'm feeling too. That's how I'm feeling too. So yeah, so we're definitely going to combine these two ideas into something. Uh, if you're doing conventions, feel free to steal this idea because God knows I'm stealing it from somebody. So, so there we go. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna put that. So I'm just gonna put that uh, aside. Where yeah, so we're definitely gonna think of something. Uh, to do that so hopefully by so yeah so probably for, for baltimore comic-con i'll have uh i'll have like like the trade paperback um you know and and the individual issues or something we'll probably you know do 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 some but uh, you know it's i i think that that uh, it allows for a lot of fun stuff uh to be uh to, to be done with that